everyone. Uh, got a couple of things from Duskborn to open. I got lucky and was able to pick this up at Barnes Noble yesterday. Um, and I really wanted this one. And I know online it was sold out everywhere. Normally, um, I don't really buy the pre-cons, but um, I was able to get this one. And I really like the artwork on this card and stuff. So I think I will um, enjoy playing this one. I don't know if I'm going to upgrade it or leave it as a pre-con. But we'll open this together um, so you guys can see. Because it does come with 10 arch, arch enemy cards. I was going to say arch nemony. And a collector booster sample pack. So we'll open that. I also, I said I wasn't going to do it. I said I wasn't going to get it. But I did get one of these bundles too. So we're going to open those together. So I think I'll start with the bundle. And then we'll go into the commander deck. The commander deck, I might not show like every single card. Um, because it, I don't know. Like the lists for the commander decks are online and stuff. So I'm not really like... Um, I don't know if anybody really wants to see it. I, I don't know. Uh, this looks like the Shining reference, right? With the twins. And then just that little artwork piece right there. All right. And the box has winter on it and a creepy thing in the back. And on the other side, it's just a bigger picture of winter. Um, uh, there's this. I guess this is the security thing they don't want you to steal the dye for this looks really nice it's like this pastel green and purple color um personally I think they should have went with a more neon color green because and then oh what do you know my box is actually intact um got our play boosters here there should be nine there is nine and then the land packs and probably whatever the bundle rare is i didn't even look at what what it is and then there's like all these little counter things i'm not going to pop this out right now um so let's see here these look like they're in pretty good shape and then i don't know we're probably i'm gonna try to order the secret layer because i know they have a hatsune miku Coming out, Ghostbusters, Chucky. Okay, so it's a Grievous Wound. Uh, yeah, this card's not great. Um, and then we got I probably one of each foil. Yep, one of each foil. And then there'll be the window foil lands. And then um, I know the Nightmare Bundles, which we're getting two of those, are going to have these kind of lands in them. And then this is just, okay, so you get one, ooh, this one's kind of messed up. You get one of each of the non-foils, and then you get the window foil lands, and then these two little on-your-turn cards, so. Yeah, I did, I did really like the full art lands in this set, so I am excited to get more of them when we do our Nightmare Bundles later when they get here, because they're still not ready to ship yet. So we're going to jump right into this this um, play boosters here I don't even know what the good cards are in this set oh the unsettling twins like the artwork okay and then these ones will have the rares in the back prana fly possessed goat glassworks shattered yard I really need the I'm good getting ready to build a new commander deck and it's calling for the mythic one of this card so hopefully I'll get that I think we might have already gotten it in our other boxes. Oh, <laughs> well, did I call that or did I? Hopefully, I'll get it, and it's right here. So that's really cool because I did need this for my commander deck. Oh, and we got to, that's a double mythic pack. So we got the Abhorrent Oculus Eye, and then we got the regular land, and our foil is Grab the Prize. Oh, yeah, and these are just like the single token. So, yeah, that pack seemed pretty good. I got two mythics, the one that I needed. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. The Friendly Ghost. 
the Inferno, Widow's Walk, Weight Room, Stalked Researcher, Cult Healer, The Bear Trap, Fear of Failed Tests, Insidious Fungus, Lionheart Glimmer. Ooh, nice. I wanted more of these lands too. So the Rare Red and Black Blaze Meyer Verge Land. A Swamp and Give In to Violence. And that's trash, so I'll just put it over there. Alrighty, next pack. So far, I'm not upset at the rares that I've been getting. So that's cool. rares and mythics, I guess. Beastie, Merge, Cackling Slasher. Threats around every corner. Shroud Stomper. See, I would put this in my life gain deck if it didn't cost so much mana. And then we got Valgavoth's Onslaught. This card's good. I got this in the pre-release, um, and I was able to use it. Got a Foil Mountain, a Scrabbling Skull Crab. The card looks cool. And then, ooh, look at this. Is it Nashi? Cathartic Parting, but that is Nashi, though. Oops. Just bend the cards. All right, pack four. Another goat, another fly. In our pre-release, it was really weird because a lot of the packs had a lot of repetition. Ooh, we got Arabella, Abandoned Doll, like the Annabelle. And then we got the blue mythic uh, room card, abandoned campground, shard mage's rescue, and an insect token. All right, All right. the creeping peeper, such a funny name, living phone, the rat inspector. In the blue room. Fear of Infinity. Oh, I don't know if I've... I don't remember that card. The Tale of Tamio. She looks so pretty, too. And then the Razor Trap Gorge and Impossible Inferno. And Tyvar art card. That looks so cool. Alrighty, we got four more packs to go. Hardened Escort, Final Vengeance, Vicious Clown, Branch Snapper. Oh my gosh, this card's super creepy. <laughs> Sorry if I'm sniffling a little bit. I think I need to blow my nose. Fear of Abduction, Violent Urge, and Ghost Vacuum for our rare here. Then we got Murky Sewer and Trapped in the Screen, and then the Little Punch Out. Does anybody use these? I use them like only in the pre-release. After that, I don't I don't use them because I have dice and stuff that I use for counters. Oh, this one is not opening correctly. <laughs> All right. I might have to pause the video in a second to blow my nose because it's getting ridiculous. Okay. Frantic Strength, Glimmer Burst, Fear of Isolation, Red Room. If you know what that's from, which horror movie? Leave your answer in the comments. The Brood Spinner is good. This is the uh, rare, so it's the blue rare room. We got a full art planes and we got an innocuous wrap. All right, I apologize, but I'm going to have to pause real quick to blow my nose because I don't want to keep sniffling. At All right, and we're back. We have two packs left from the bundle, and I still have the commander deck to open. I apologize. Sometimes, you know, you got to blow your nose, and it's just reality. All right, so we have the Flesh Borrower, Unable to Scream, The Hand That Feeds, Winner's Intervention, The Watchdog Super Cute, Murder, Found Footage, 
Okay, Fear of Failed Test, another Lionheart Glimmer. Oh, Head Shredder. So that's kind of cool vehicle there. And then we got a Plains and Fear of the Dark and a Shard Token. All right, last pack from the bundle. Let's see what we get. Got a couple Mythics in this one. I don't think we got anything groundbreaking, but I got the card I needed, so that's good. Break down the door. Uh, like, here's Johnny. File mutilator. Is it mutilator? Mutilator. And then we got the white blue land. So I'm always happy to get the land, so that's good. Oh, yeah, we did get the red black land, too. And then we got Drag to the Roots and this creepy artwork token, which is which card? Razorkin Needlehead. So that was the um, bundle. So like I said, did did okay. I don't know what the, if any of those mythics make up for the cost of the box. I'm going to go ahead and say probably not. But I did get the one that I wanted, so I'm not too mad. And I got two of the lands, which honestly, the lands are really good. I think they're going to be um, pretty good. Uh, to have play sets of, especially now that standard's going to be a thing. So let's go ahead and open this uh, commander deck here. Yeah, I went to um, Walmart and Target at two different Targets. And the only decks they had, because the cards came out yesterday, officially, right? Yesterday was Friday. Um, the first Friday of this, the launch, like in big box stores. And uh, they didn't have this one. They only had the uh, winter one and the... Okay, so there's like this black envelope in here. And then they had the Zimone one, but all the other ones were gone. And they only had one of each. Okay, so this is the packaging. This kind of came out already. So it looks like the... Um, there's something right here. There's another envelope in here. And then there is the actual commander deck and then there's like this poster thing and then it does come with some fancy locked door tokens so I might actually I might actually keep those um, for this deck I'm assuming that it probably has the door cards in it so those ones I might keep and then I'll probably just throw the rest of this stuff away um, these posters are cool um, yeah, it just kind of explains, I can't really show it, but it just kind of explains, like, the deck and what it's, like, meant to do. Um, and then, uh, so it does have some special, um, arch enemy cards, and then this is what, if you didn't know, because I didn't know what this is, this is a special mechanic, so... Team of three players face off against an R powerful arch enemy player. The arch enemy starts at 60 life. The other players share 60 life. Um, sorry, I was getting a phone. I thought I put my phone on airplane when I was getting a phone call. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So, I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. You guys could pause if you want to read what it says. Uh, for that one. So I'm assuming that's what the the 10 arch enemy cards are. So maybe when we open those, we'll be able to see um, what that is. So let's look at this first and then we'll do the collector sample pack. I will be honest in these commander. I've bought a few pre-cons. I haven't bought a lot. Um, but in these few, the few that I have bought in the sample packs for me have always been very mid. But um so we did actually get this card, um, the Valgavoth. I got the the borderless foil or borderless non foil. I did sell it um, because I didn't want it, and then I ended up buying the deck. So now I have the borderless foil version. So that's the commander, and I'm guessing this is like the lieutenant or the second commander, the Lord of Pain. And then we have the rest of the cards. I'm gonna try to split these because there's a hundred, right? So, the fear of burning life. So, a lot of these Terramorphic Expanse. So, a lot of these are going to be 
in the set. There's Arcane Signet, Lightning Greaves, Soul Ring, which... How do you guys feel about the bands? Is it taboo to talk about the bands? Because a lot of people are really upset by it. I will say, for us, it didn't affect us too bad. Um, because we only have a couple of Jeweled Lotus, and I think we have one... Um, Mana, Mana Crypt, right? Yeah. Um, ours is a neon one, though. We opened it in our... Oh, Braids is in here. Uh, Fate Unraveler. The Mask of Grindelbrand. Okay. Massacre. Ooh, Massacre Girl. I have a cool version of her, so I could actually swap out... Um, I could actually swap out some of these cards. Chaos Warp. Yeah. Oh, Florian. I know I have a cool version of that, too. Rakdos. Yeah. Sorry if I went through the first part kind of fast. Fastless Caller. Oh, Solemn Simulacrum. Yep. Okay, and then these are the lands. The lands and, and pre-cons are always a little bit um, mid, you know. And then, huh, card looks like it has a spot on the back. I was looking at that. Okay, so then more lands here. And then these are probably just the basics, right? Yeah, and then the tokens. <coughs> oh, man, I'm having all kinds of issues today. All right. And lots of devil tokens. And then, yeah, the on your turn thing. So, yeah, that's basically what was in the commander deck. Again, the list for this is, is online. I was more interested to see, like, what this arch enemy thing is and the uh, collector booster. Okay. Oh, and you know what? The This is the... I was wondering why I didn't get the, uh, the box for it. But I'm not going to use this box. Um, I have other deck boxes to use for it, but I, I'll use it for now because I'm going to take it with me when I travel today so I can play with my friends later. All right, so this is the Collector Booster Sample Pack. I might end up cutting this if I can't. Oh, no, it opened easy. So we'll see if we get anything good in here. You guys are going to get the, oh, no, I was like, you guys are going to get the first pick, but this is the trash, so... We got split up, isn't, that? <laughs> that's funny, it's the same art. And then we got a uh, skull cap nuisance. So yeah, it doesn't seem, um, this is like that board wipe, but um, unfortunately uh, I can't use it in this deck because it's white and this one's blue black. So these ones wouldn't be able to be used in this deck, but I can put them with the rest of our main set cards. And then we got these arch nemesis. I keep wanting to say Arch Nemesis, but I think it's Arch Enemy. Yeah, Arch Enemy. So they're kind of like the bigger cards. I wonder... I don't know if all of these are the same. Like, if you know, let me know in the comments. Like, I don't know if these are the same in all the Commander decks or if there's, like, any variation. So this is a Scheme... Another scheme, an ongoing scheme. Maybe we'll try this uh, later. Running is useless. You exist only to amuse. A call for slaughter. I'll savor your agony. Your nightmares are delicious. And no secret is hidden from me. So yeah, so this seems kind of an interesting concept. I'll have to try that out. Uh, but yeah, that was the commander deck and that was the bundle. I tried to keep the video not super duper long. I apologize if I went too fast through the commander deck cards, but like I said, they are the deck list is online uh, for that. Um, but thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. I think the secret layers come out on Monday. So we're gonna try to order those. Um, and we'll be posting up some more nightmare bundles and stuff for you guys too. All right, thanks for watching.